Now we join the Minister of Information, Minister Len Eugene Dangwe, on the line. Minister Dangwe, good morning. Good morning, Daniel. Thanks for uh, joining us. Quickly, there been, there's been a lot of talk, and uh, you know, I must I must hit the nail on the head on the whole idea of the government food distribution exercise. And uh, unfortunately, there have been rumors going around that the government has given the World Bank nine million for this process and all of that. Um, what is your reaction to this? Because this seems to drift the conversation from the actual food distribution to people talking about you know who gave who nine million and all of that. Well, the clarification is because there has been a lot of attempts, deliberate attempts, mm. by some individuals in society to distort the reality of the situation. What has happened is that the government of Liberia contracted the World Food Program to implement the food distribution project because the WFP has as its core competence the ability to deliver. They are of international repute in this area. So the government decided that the best way to implement this project would be to sign an agreement with the WFP for them to uh, execute the project. As a result of that agreement, there is a budget of $30 million for the entire project. Of that $30 million, the government's budget process mm. has uh, brought forward $25 million. So uh, yesterday, the World Food Program received into its account the amount of $25 million that was earlier transferred by the Ministry of Finance through the Central Bank of Liberia to the EFP's account. $25 million with okay. the EFP from the government's consolidated fund. Remember, the national legislature approved a budget of $25 million for the implementation of the full support program. So that money is with the EFP. As I speak to you, $25 million. And at $25 million. The entire budget is $30 million. So the $5 million will be or is being sent to the the EFP account by the World Bank. Oh, too bad. We lost Mr. Nambu, uh somewhere along the way. I think it's network. Let me try to reconnect with him very quickly uh, on the line here and, 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 and get him back on the line. He's, Mr. Nambu is actually providing clarity to rumors uh, that, you know, the government, you know, has given the World, the World Food Program nine million dollars and he's providing the necessary update as to as to as to where we are with this exercise and he's making the necessary clarifications here on the show this morning so i'm going to reconnect with him right now and definitely once he's on the line i'll speak with him shortly okay welcome back to the super morning show and then we have minister namu rejoining us mr namu welcome back uh, sorry network uh we're at the point where you mentioned uh that the actual the overall amount is 30 million and that 5 million will be coming from the world bank whilst the 25 million is already in the accounts of the uh world food program yes the total budget for this project hmm. is 30 million dollars out of the 30 million dollars the government of Liberia has already transferred 25 million from the government's consolidated account to the EFP. So the 25 million is in the account of the EFP as I speak to you. Okay. The other 5 million is being transferred by the World Bank, making it a total of 30 million for the implementation of this project. Now, the, WF, the whole issue of $9 million has come about because people want to continue to misinform and disinform our people. The WFP has come up now to clarify that it is not, we are not paying any, the government is not paying any $9 million to WFP for the implementation of the project. Instead, $1.8 million of the $30 million will go towards WFP's own administrative cost in keeping with international best practice. In other countries, WFP has not only worked in Liberia, in other countries, that is the standard. What is administrative cost for the EFP? They use it for their own overhead expense in relation to the project, like monitoring and evaluation, paying bonuses to staff who work overtime, uh, uh, procurement, supervision, 
and all of those things, you know. So the 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 bulk of the money is being spent directly to ensure that the pro the, the project is implemented properly. It's a huge logistical challenge, you know. We move the food from Freeport to warehouses, from warehouses to various parts of the country where the project is expected to reach. You know, as far as Granger, Maryland, Sino, Lofa, you know, it's a huge logistical challenge that will cost money. So some of the monies will go to renting vehicles, renting trucks, mm -hmm. hiring people to move the, the food around. We've also uh, uh, asked the WFP to work with local NGOs, and they are doing so. These local NGOs will have to uh, encounter some costs. But I, 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 I was reading from the front page, and the, and the quoting Minister Tape as, as, as stating to them, you know, the entire 30 million amount, and in mentioning 9 million going towards operational cost uh, for WFP. That, that's what brought the outrage from Senator. He did not say that. Minister Tape, when he spoke at the National Legislature, uh -huh. was very clear. He said that the budget, the total budget is 30 million. Mm. Like I said to you, 20.2 million of that is going to purchase of food, the rice, the beans, and the oil. That's the, that's the, the content of the food uh, basket for each household. Right. We're targeting about 2 million persons, just over 2 million Liberians to benefit. Now, he said 20.2 million for purchase of food. Then 9.8 will go to operational and administrative costs. People grabbed that and ran with it to say that it meant we're paying WFP $9.8 million to implement the project. So WFP came back to clarify that no, 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 no. The $9.8 million is part of the whole $30 million that will include other costs. So you buy the food for $20.2 million, then you leave it at where you bought it, don't you transport it, don't you distribute it. So that's the additional cost. This is WFP and the National Registry implemented a comprehensive enumeration exercise throughout the country. That's a cost. There is a cost for the local NGOs. So Mr. Tabe was 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 taken out of out of out of uh, was misquoted, I should say. He mm. did not say we are paying WFP nine million dollars. So they continue to distort. These are the same people who at the beginning said that this was not going to happen. It was 419. When they saw that the distribution process uh, has started, they started to shift gear to say that uh, now we are spending the money recklessly because we are paying WFP $9 million. When WFP comes out now and says, no, 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 our administrative cost is not $9.8 million, it's $1.8. And here is what we're going to do. Uh -huh. Then they say, oh, WFP said they only got one point eight. where's the balance money? So I'm telling you now today that we have transferred the monies already. WFP account and the World Bank is also transferring the additional five million. So the entire 30 million is with WFP. For those who want to know where the money is, that's where it is. And, it, and we, I must say yeah. that on the Budget and Finance Committee, we have members of the international community. In fact, the head of the Budget and Finance Committee is the head of the World Bank in Liberia. Also on that committee is the head of USAID. The United States government is represented through the head of USAID uh, uh, in Liberia, Madam Sarah Walker is a member. Also the head of the IMF is a member of this committee. So we have international participation. We have other people of repute on the committee, including the Council of Churches, some other NGOs, other uh, Liberians who are of high integrity are on the committee. So the government decided not to do this alone because we expected these same people to come up with lies. So we expanded the, the team, we involved the international community, we involved some of our civil society people, we even involved members of the opposition who saw it as an opportunity now to jump ship and stand outside of the of the ring and throw punches from without. You know, but the punches will be feeble because in the end. The reality is there, the truth is, is there, and distortion cannot triumph over truth. Sure. Now, with, with, with this necessary clarification, you know, made, um, the process has started, actually. Um, but how is it going to roll out? Because most, ha most often it happens over the weekend. Uh, is it going to be going throughout the course of the week? So people, as long as people see these trucks moving, they tend to believe more. Yes, so the trucks will move. 
move. We have a rollout plan that we're going to stick to. You know, we're not going to let the plan get derailed because people want to spread misinformation. So the enumeration process is nearing completion. What we did on Saturday was to do a trial run of uh, over 400 households that went successfully. We're going to replicate that throughout the country. Uh, the logistical piece is being uh, concluded so that we can move the food into the communities and also into the interior part of the country to the targeted areas. This is not just a Monrovia affair. We yeah. are covering the entire country where we have vulnerable Liberians. Like I said earlier, we're targeting over 2 million persons. It's a huge logistical effort and we'll keep the public informed as we go along. We'll also continue to inform the public about the measures that will accompany the distribution process. You know, the health protocols, the security protocols will inform each community and, and as we roll out. So uh, just watch, you know, those who say it was 419 have now pivoted to say that, you know, mm. that we can account for the money when we have evidence and the WFP itself still, you know, has confirmed that the budget is 30 million. And yet people, I think this issue is, is not it's not a lack of, of understanding, you know, on the part of some people. I think some um, most part is deliberate, and in some cases, it's just pure lack of comprehension because the, the, the whole issue is so clear. We have remitted the $25 million to WFP, and WFP is implementing the project based on the parameters that the government has set, including that they have to buy locally also, meaning they will buy local palm oil, they will also buy local rice, in addition to the imported rice. You know, these are some of the parameters. We also say they have to use local Liberian uh, logistics people, renting trucks, moving the food up and down the country, has to be done by Liberians. We also ask that they use local NGOs to help with the process in the communities. That is also ongoing. So we are uh, operating transparently. We have members of the international community also on the committee. And at the end of all of this, uh, uh, there will be a full report to the Liberian people. Even as we are implementing where there is need, we'll provide you with the information necessary. So it's sad that uh, you know this uh, great project, there is so much attempts to distort it, to spread this information, but the reality is that the government has behaved transparently and we have behaved professionally and properly and with integrity. One final question on this food distribution. There have been two trial runs, um, um, so to speak. And the last time we talked, you told me that in 10 days as of when we spoke, this process will entirely begin. Um, is there a, an actual proposed date you know, that may not be put further due to logistical issues or financial issues? for this no, process to the project be rolled has started out. now because the the first run was to test at institution okay. now we've started the project at uh, one of the communities with 400 households so the, pro the project is ongoing and we give briefing regularly so the next movement of food will be announced you know to the communities and which communities all the communities will not be served at the same time particularly those outside of Monrovia. So the rollout schedule will be published and everybody will know when people will arrive. And remember now, we're still in a health situation and that is the driving force behind this distribution. So we have to do it in a way that people will not leave from other communities to come to other communities and then we have uh, a huge convergence of people and thereby defy the, the health protocols. So this is why we are moving in this uh, meticulous fashion so that we don't breach the protocols while we are distributing. Okay, thank you very much.